Hey guys, welcome back to another video and it's been a little while since we've seen each other well, for me to be seeing you and for you to be seeing me so welcome back and um, we're going to be trying to do a few more of these sort of videos I think the last time we did one was probably going seven months probably um, so and today we're just going to give you a little bit of a garden update because we've got quite a few bits to show you since we've been gone and we've only just started getting back into gardening after lockdown so we chopped our hedge down and from this side it looks uh, quite nice and uh, it's, it's quite nice and trim and the other side it looks very very butchered but it, the other side is kind of the functional side this side is more of the cosmetic uh, the reason we chopped our hedge down was because it was like three foot taller than what it is now um, and we're a, a south facing garden which means that we don't get a lot of sunlight during the afternoon and we need it so we need all the light we can get really for growing vegetables which is what our back side of the garden is so here we, you can see we've got a lot of the um, sort of kind of foliage of the, the two bushes and we've already got rid of a lot of it down at our local dump but we've got probably a lot more of it to do so behind me is the carrots and we overwintered these uh, which means they've, and they've got a lot taller um, with the lots of rain that we've had, we just had a really, really heavy downpour as well, so that that's quite good. Um, so and then yeah, so we overwintered these lot, and I think these were the, these were the lot that we planted just before we stopped doing the sort of face-to-face -face videos. Um, but yeah, you can see how lot, how well they've come along. So next to me uh, here is we think is could be a volunteer uh, fennel, or it could be some celery. We're not too sure until we pull it. Um, and here we do also have a um, a leek, no, a spring onion, um, which you can see is ready to pull, but we haven't quite pulled it yet. Uh, so I'll just put that back over. Um, we'll probably pull that at some point. And we've got some um, we've got some more leeks. Oh, we got leeks behind me, and you can see these have got quite chunky. So here what used to be our strawberry bed, then they didn't work, then we turned it into a fennel bed and now it's a blueberry and gooseberry um, bed. Um, but you probably last saw it potentially when we only had one layer, now we've got two layers and we actually need to put some more soil over the top. But you can uh, you can see these are the starts of blueberries but they're the actual only flowers right now. And then with the gooseberry, you can see here these are all the gooseberries that will grow, in, grow into actual big enough gooseberries that we can actually eat them. So we're on to the right hand side of the garden now and just below uh, just below us are, we turn into a strawberry bed which we planted last year and uh, hopefully this July we should have some and we should be able to have some strawberries and cream or some strawberry and something else crumble or whatever you want um, but the, yeah that's just our strawberry bed and with our old chicken run we're gonna probably put some with a little bit of netting to come off so we're gonna get a little bit more of that and then we'll pull it over so the birds can't come and take the strawberries and so you probably want to know what this uh, here is the the big tall um, red stuff this is actually swiss chard we planted we first planted it last year and uh, so yeah and so um so it's got quite tall now and my dad's the only one that eats it so on to our fruit trees and with the swiss chard there's actually blocking some of the light from one of our blackberries um we've got a, well, another blackberry here which you can see the one that i'm touching here and this is a year's worth of growth so hopefully we get some fruit out of it this year um, because once they mature about a year or two then you start getting lots quite a bit of fruit so th that's another uh, blackberry uh, those who need to grow for another year to hopefully get some fruit yeah so we've got our two, we've got well we've got four blackberries um we've got two currants where we have a gooseberry over there yeah, I think with that, that we have a, actually might have three currants, um, but stupidly we haven't labelled them, so a little tip here, for, um, is label your stuff. Uh, and then we've got one, also we've got one missing tayberry, and we've also got a roll of uh, flexible netting, so they, so we can train them up the, so we can train them up them, 
and they won't go over, well, they might go over the fence eventually, but we'll just net it up. And so we've got some more elites here, which we've planted at the same time as the other lot. And we've been eating them slowly throughout the week and in roast dinners. Um, so you can see we've got a lot of work out of it. And we never used to really eat leeks until like a year ago or something when we first started planting them. So we've got our herbs. Uh, we've got some oregano, we've got thyme, we've got chives. And on the chives we've got some flowers here. Um, and what will happen is they'll grow to seed at some point. So we'll have to be careful with that, that we don't have uh, tons of chives all over the place. We've also got some thyme, rosemary and sage. And we've also got our potatoes, which are going to mount up in another video coming quite soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this first face-to-face -face video in about seven months, I want to say. Uh, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, hit that notification bell to make sure you are updated when we upload our videos. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and go check out some of these videos below. Bye!